My final thoughts are these. We came so many years ago, so young, we both were then, to 50 folks on Sunday and on Wednesday, maybe 10. Oddest little parsonage, a sanctuary small, but we were so excited you'd extended us a call. The people were so friendly, though they did seem rather old, and most of them were nearly in their 40s, so I'm told. And me, two years past 20, and my wife just 21, we wondered if with any of them we'd have any fun. But right away, God gave to us new families, people saved. The path on which he'd placed us was with his rich blessing paved. It wasn't long before that little building was quite filled, and we decided that together we'd rise up and build. And then a school we started to train servants for our Lord. Although some well-known preachers said I was out of my gourd, you start that school, they said to us, with scarcely hidden sneers, and you will find your ministry is bankrupt in three years. But God was clear. We trusted him, ignoring critics' claim, and started teaching math and science all in Jesus' name. I'm told more than 200 to his harvest field were sent, some having now a lifetime in our Savior's service spent. And then we moved the church around the corner to King Road. Our small two-acre parcel had borne such a heavy load. Four building projects on this spot. Two bus barns make it six. The buildings never were the goal. Our hearts on him we fix. Well, buses have been added. Ministries have multiplied. And young folks have been married. Children born and old folks die. Some sad farewells we've had as faithful members moved away. But thank God for the many special folks who chose to stay. So here's my final thank you to this great and awesome church. I've placed you in wise, loving hands, not left you in the lurch. You've worked and witnessed, faithful been in good times and in bad. A better church of people not one preacher's ever had. A thank you to Carissa. What a special child you've been to recount all the memories I scarcely could begin. Your happy, loving spirit filled our hearts and home with joy. And then you started praying God would give our home a boy. A little brother you desired, and we thought, there is no way. Until God answered your prayer with a boy named Katie May. <laughs> you weren't disappointed, showed no sadness, not a care. You simply smiled, and that explained that you had changed your prayer. Thank you then to Katie, who our family rounded out. You added fun and laughter and some noise without a doubt. You caused so little trouble, always eager us to please. Although I've not forgot, you changed my phone to Japanese. <laughs> In Thomas and in Curtis, you found husbands without peer. And then you gave us grandkids whom we love and hold so dear. Sweet Ashley, loving Ethan, special Sawyer, Weston too, and with Amari. You're the world's best grandkids, it is true. But when I name the person whom I love the very best, there is one name that far exceeds and passes all the rest. A thank you to my sweetheart is well earned and so deserved for all the many ways that she has helped and loved and served. I thank you for your spirit, for your happy, smiling face, for bearing many burdens with such patience and such grace, for helping rear our daughters all the times I was away for working hard and serving God and loving me each day. But though so many people very well deserve some praise, all glory goes to God above who's guided all our ways. Unending mercy, ceaseless love, and grace beyond degree, abundant blessings, vast supply He's given you and me. The glorious privilege ours to labor in His harvest field, to sow the seed and water it and watch Him give the yield. Lives transformed by his great gospel fill our pews today and now are guided by his spirit in his perfect way. He sheltered us, supplied our need. We reveled in his care. He's held us safe and kept us straight and heard our every prayer. Our lives are his. This church is too. We're thankfully his own. More joyous or abundant life than his could ne'er be known. Today is really not goodbye. This church is still our place. We hope to serve with you until we see our Savior's face. The future is so promising. The past has been so blessed. God's grace and goodness have enabled us through every test. So thank you, church, and thank you, Lord, and thank you, family sweet. Four decades plus of service here have been a wondrous treat. 
And though our role is different now, our calling is the same, to glorify our Savior and make known his lovely name.